I'll be demoing the new PowerPoint Live, which is built in a PowerPoint web and is free. This will let you present more inclusively and engage your audience. So I'm gonna to switch to the slideshow tab right here, and there's this new button, Present Live. And by the way, I can present either to people in my organization or school district, just for those folks, or I can choose anyone and make this available to anyone in the world. And I'll click Present Live to start. Now this is the Join screen, and what I can do is, up in the right, there's a PowerPoint link and this is the join link I can give to anyone. There's also a QR code. So if you're in a Teams meeting, people can just hold their device up and join into the presentation automatically. Now you can see here the numbers of people who have joined is going up and we'll get going. Okay, now I'm in PowerPoint for the web and my live session has started. Also note that the link to follow along is right here up at the top where I'm highlighting. So first off, we can have students or participants join this session and choose their own captions and their language. That means we could have multiple people join and each person chooses one of 67 languages and it captions to them in real time on their device. And as the teacher or the presenter, when I move my slide, the participant slides moves, but the captions come through in their own language. So here I have someone with English, with Chinese, and another device with Spanish. So as I'm talking, it's captioning to them in the language they choose. The bottom, I hover, there's a live session button. I can see that my session is live. I've got a bunch of people join. I could copy the link to this and send it to someone in Teams or email. I could even show the welcome screen again. Maybe someone came late, I could give that to them. Also, by default, audience reactions are on. You can turn them off, but we're gonna keep it on for our demo in just a bit. And I can also end session here. The other important one is the microphone. This is on and that will push out captions and transcripts. If I want that off, I'll just turn that off and I don't want them to go up, but we're gonna leave it on for our session. So let's get going. I'm here on a slide and I'm gonna talk through the five planets. Now, I'd like to ask for some audience reactions. If you're a fan of Saturn, let me know, audience. I wanna see some emojis coming up. And there we go, I'm seeing some hearts and some thumbs up, and all of these are kept for later. So you can get a sense of different slides you're talking about or different topics, which are the things that the audience likes best. So now let's say I'm at the end of my presentation. What I'm gonna do is go down at the bottom and click on the live session button and click end session. Now what happens is when I end the session, all of the attendees are going to get a little feedback form asking me how I did on my presentation skills and the design of my slides and a few other questions. They will be able to fill out that feedback. So as a presenter, it allows me to gather feedback and understand where I'm doing well and where I can improve. Now when I click end session, What's going to happen is that in a couple of minutes, all of that data will get aggregated and me as a presenter will receive an email to capture all that information from my attendees. When I end the session, the QR code and the join code are destroyed so no one else can join. Now, if I accidentally just like close my browser, or hit escape, that join code and QR code self-destruct at 30 minutes and then no one else can get in. So that's a quick tour of PowerPoint Live in the web, which is free and part of Office 365.